Maritime Made on Eastlink TV, presented by Nova Scotia Business Inc., because great things are happening. The word bionic brings back thoughts of the $6 million man and his super speed and strength. But the folks at Spring Loaded Technology have created the world's first bionic knee brace that may not make you quite as fast, but it does help a whole lot of people with knee problems. This powered knee brace is designed to help reduce pain and get people who suffer with knee injuries and osteoarthritis moving. These patented springs work by compressing a liquid to store energy as you bend your knee then returns that energy to the brace to help power and protect you when you extend your leg. The power hinge is where the patented spring technology is located. The hinge is made up of many parts, most of which are made on site. This vertical milling machine center is making the power hinge caps out of 7075 aluminum blanks. This hard aluminum has the same strength as steel, but it's much lighter. Blanks are loaded into the machine for cutting the first side of the caps. Jaws are tightened to hold the blanks in place, then hammered to ensure the parts are seated. The milling machine is programmed and starts to cut. It runs at 2,400 rotations per minute and uses a mixture of water and oil to lubricate and cool the machine. Once finished, the jaws are loosened and the cap is ready to be cut on the other side. The finished caps are removed, cleaned and stored until they are sent off site to be anodized. Another important part of the power hinge is the carbon fiber cage that houses the spring or the spring cage. First, a mold is prepared with a release fluid. Then glue is poured over the carbon fiber tubing and spread evenly. Each tube is gathered and placed on the mold. The mold is wrapped in layers of material and placed inside a vacuum bag that is then sealed on each end. The vacuum pump is attached to remove the air and compress the layers of carbon fiber, keeping them tight against the mold while it forms. The mold is covered and heated for 45 minutes while the carbon fiber cures, and then it goes into the freezer overnight. Once out of the freezer, the end of the mold is cut off on a bandsaw. Clay is removed from the end. An eye bolt is attached to the mold, and an engine hoist is used to pull the mold out of the spring cage. The cage is then trimmed on the saw and cut into three even pieces. To assemble the hinge, all parts required are picked from inventory. Each brace has two hinges, one on each side of the knee. The hinge is designed to bend in the same way as your knee bends. The hinge parts are made of bronze, aluminum, steel, and a high strength cord material. The hinge is assembled by hand. After many careful assembly steps, the spring loaded hinge is complete and is ready to be installed in the brace. To make the straps, Velcro is placed in a jig that is loaded into the laser cutter. Each jig has a corresponding program on the laser cutter that cuts the Velcro to length, finishes the edges, and punches holes. The custom straps are designed to allow the brace to be adjustable for a customized fit. These straps are folded and reinforced. A shim is secured inside the sleeve and attaches to the back to make the strap adjustable. All the brace straps are handmade in the same way. Padding is an important part of the fit and feel of a brace. 
athletic foam is placed on a silicon mat and heated in an oven for three minutes. It's then removed and a mold is placed on top. Quickly, it is placed into a clicker press at 75 PSI for three minutes. Then removed and inspected. The pressed foam is pushed onto a cutting die, secured in place, and put back inside the clicker machine where it's cut. The frame of each brace is a carbon fiber shell. Each shell undergoes a load test to confirm the strength of the structure. Each one is sanded using a wet sanding method to avoid carbon dust in the air. Once dried, the shell is secured in a jig and drilled for further assembly. The uni strap is fastened in place, followed by the thigh strap. The straps are sealed in plastic. The shin strap is secured to the bottom shell in the same way. Working on another jig, the technician attaches the hinges to both ends of the shell. The brace is now taking shape. Screws are inserted and tightened at each connection point. The hinges are checked to verify a smooth drop motion. The high power mode is set and the hinge motion is checked again. Each brace is assembled and tested in this dry fit process. Then it's reassembled with epoxy and screws for a true bond. An engineer checks the adjustment system on the hinge and the function of the brace. Loctite is added to each screw and then tightened. Each screw is marked red to indicate it has been tightened properly. At the final assembly stage, the brace is ready for padding and strapping. Velcro is attached throughout the inside of the brace. Then it's wiped down. The underside of the padding acts as the hook for the Velcro to firmly hold the padding in place. Every part of the brace that touches the skin is covered in soft padding. Spring Loaded Technology ships its braces all over Canada and the United States to customers with a wide range of needs, 